72.36. Remember her rival skating in Croatia in the golden spin. She got a 73.37 with a mistake on the double axle. That's Yuna Kim. So uh, important here for Mao Asada to send a very, very strong message out that uh, she is the one to beat. <laughs> Had a good season so far. She won both the NHK Trophy and Skate America. Of course, Mal, the only skater to be performing the triple axel. And she's got that scheduled in the program here. on that double-footed landing and uh, that was definitely under rotated should have been the combination now back on track with a beautiful triple flip Double axle, triple toe. We're into the second half of the program too. So an extra 10%. And there's the Salco. Triple flip, double loop, double loop. And there's a super triple loop.
Well, it wasn't flawless. And you have to take your hat off to her after a shaky start with the attempts on the triple axles, which are pretty consistent for her. She fought her way back. Good spins, nice interpretation. Not quite the message she wanted to send to uh, Kim, I don't think. Great with the crowd, isn't it? Before she started, if you could bottle that and use that energy, it would really help. They love her here, rightly so. What particularly was stand out for me here was the rise and fall on the knee, the quality of the skating and the arm movements and the expression, working with that, beautiful to watch. Driving speed at the end, wonderful step sequence and choreographic step sequence, finishing off the program, capturing the energy of the music. And some very high quality elements in that. I think the crowd are a bit excited here at that performance. But we're normally traditionally reserved in, J in yes. Japan, apart from when we're watching figure skating. Yeah, she's an absolute superstar here, and rightly so. did love the skating skills. When you see somebody getting the rise and fall on the knee and the softness in the ankles with the technique just working right, it doesn't take so much effort and it builds up loads of speed and looks so beautiful. And that's what she has. Well, I can tell you that the uh, free skate has been completed in Croatia and uh, Yuna Kim there, she got 131 point one two on the free not uh, not a perfect step escape there's a one point deduction in there as well and uh, you know Mao's gonna get a one point deduction in here as well for that fall and uh, a couple of under rotations for dead short certainly on the triple axle possibly on the of all things the uh, the double loops maybe There you can see that one definitely under rotated, landed forwards and uh, should have been in combination. So she'll get a plus sequence on that. But she just commands viewership, doesn't she? She's got such a presence out there. She does love the outfit, love the the wrist, the little the emphasis on the wrist for the costume, which helps with the arm lines. That works so well too. Here's the axle again. A uh, different axle. Yeah, massive combination. Double axle, triple toe. And you can see at the moment her technical score is behind Lipnitskaya. These double loops, were they clear? Ah, oh, it's a little more dead. Ooh. Technical panel, a look at those for dead short. The close up of the footwork. Spins all seem to be level four, by my reckoning. And she's got uh, plenty in hand over Lipnitskaya going into this. Some uh, six points, just under six points. So she should safely finish on top. Great news for Ashley Wagner uh, with the uh, Disappointing performance of Sotnikova because she's going to get a medal from here. Obviously, we, uh, we feel for Adelina. So, here we go. What will the score be? 72.36 she got on the uh, short, 131.66. Not too bad considering the performance. 20402. So, she wins the Grand Prix finals.